This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com with the Samsung Moment for Sprint. You can see I've changed the background image. This is one of the photos taken with the 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera on the Moment itself. Uh, OLED display does a really nice job of rendering it. Let's uh, pull up some functionality here and uh, take a look at, let's see, let's pull up just starred messages. Go into switch to labels, hit starred. And let's look at this one here. You can see there are multiple messages here. Tap there and then tap on this particular message. You can see the formatted text and everything. Jump back to the home screen. Pull up the regular email client. This is a personal email account. I'm not going to show you too much here. Uh, go back to the home screen again and we'll pull up the work email. It's just the Moxier mail uh, exchange client. This is also hooked up to Google Gmail just for test purposes. Uh, you can see here's a message that was just sent to the account. Quick message here. This one should have some formatted text in it. Pull up the menu, you can see what your, some of your options are. Can of course compose new messages as well. And put in a message. And send it off to our friend Frodo. Flip back to the home screen. Pull up the gallery application. Uh, gallery contains both photos and videos. Go and take a look at the photos first. Auto screen rotation. There's no multi uh, touch controls or even swipe gestures, just on screen tapping. You can see some pictures with the flash right here. Flash works surprisingly well. Zoom control at the bottom, it's just like you see on the browser. Jump back and then we'll. Uh, activate the camera see how that works. I've got my test subject here. You can see it's pretty easy to take a picture. Just press the shutter button halfway to get focus. Press it the rest of the way to take the photo. Look at the settings. Very few settings available at all. That's it. Quality, flash on or off, not even in auto mode, and um, whether or not to store location data. Of course you can get back to the gallery just by tapping there. Got Google Maps loaded up. You can see uh, there's my location and nice scrolling. Change the map mode so you can see what that looks like. Go into satellite view. No multi-touch zooming. Just tap to zoom. And we're on a Wi-Fi connection right now which uh, means the data comes through a little bit faster than it would on the regular EBDO Rev A 3G connection. If you're looking to add some functionality Android Market's the place to do it. There are a lot of good applications. Um, many are free and most are fairly affordable. See some featured applications up top here. And scroll through the different categories. We'll go to games, uh, arcade and action. Now this is the cupcake build so that it doesn't have the, the new look that you'll see in the 1.6 devices. Here's a free game called Labyrinth Life. I've played it before. We'll just tap install agree to some security things and then it'll download and automatically show up on the device. You can see right there in the notification that it's been successfully installed. Also in the notifications up here you can see that we've uploaded video to um, if someone happened to be to Facebook through the automatic upload facility on the device. It works pretty well. And some new mail notifications. I'm just going to clear those out. Come back to the home screen. Uh, pull up the main menu and we'll look for that labyrinth light. And there it is, already installed. Pull up contacts. Right now I've got the device hooked up to both Exchange and um, through Gmail. And actually both are to Google Mail. So it's the same set of contacts here. You can see these are all Gmail contacts. Um, I have the option of changing the display group and go to Exchange contacts. 
and it turns out that it's actually the same contacts because they're syncing through Exchange to Google still, but you can see the formatting is different and the indicator that it's an Exchange contact. And I'm going to change back to Gmail just so I can show you the favorites which come up with the photos. Go in and look at one of the contacts. Very simple, works pretty well. All sorts of information you can store in there. And also from the home screen you can just start typing. I'll type Boris, B-O-R, and there we have Boris Yeltsin. And notice there's an icon for the dialer right here. You can also get into that same basic application just by hitting the green call send button. Um, dialer is just a particular tab. It expects you to use the keyboard here for dialing in landscape mode, but there's an on-screen keypad here for um, typing in numbers from portrait mode. And of course you still have access to all your contacts. This is the YouTube client. There's no flash support in the browser, which we'll show you a little bit later, but the YouTube client's quite nice. I'm going to search on Samsung Moment and see if I can find the first part of this video. There we go. You'll see the quality is quite nice. Turn up the volume. Simple on screen controls. But again, you can see it's very, very clear. Take a quick look at the calendar application. You can see it's nice finger scrollable indications of when you're free and busy. And I'll switch over to agenda view here. Now you notice there are duplicates, that's because I'm using uh, Google Calendar through both Gmail and Exchange, but it does uh, show you how you have different colors for different sources. You know, the Exchange ones are light blue and the Gmail ones are dark blue. Hit the menu button, go to more, and you can see which calendars are shown. You know, there's multiple calendars showing up in the, the Gmail calendar, and then there's one in the Work Exchange calendar as well. You can turn that one off, for example, hit back, and you'll notice that the light blue ones are now gone. There is, of course, a week view as well, and a daily view. Well, very nice calendar system in general. One simple uh, trick in the Android system for accessing previously loaded applications is just a long press on the home button. It brings up the six most recent applications, in this case, browser is one of them. I'm going to show you what the mobile burn website looks like in the browser. You can see you can scroll around with the finger quite easily, and that also brings up the on-screen controls. There's no multi-touch, no double tap to zoom, that kind of stuff, so you have to use the manual controls, but it does a really nice job of rendering, and the CPU in the device handles the scrolling and rendering pretty nicely. So there you have it. There's my quick look at some of the functionality on the Samsung Moment for Sprint. You can see that nice viewing angle on the AMOLED display. It's really a good display. Uh, device sells for $179.99. has a nice 800 megahertz processor, faster than just about anything else on the market. Um, a solid device, just not particularly inspiring. Uh, the basic, you know, with Google branding means that the, uh, there's not going to be a lot of customization of the user interface and stuff that you'll find like on Motorola's Click or HTC's Hero, but it's still a fine device, it's just not a great device. So again, that's the Samsung M900 Moment for Sprint. I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.